Basically, we talked this week about how you're dealing, you've been dealing with pain because you're going for surgery. Can the, um, can the surgery, rather than it being a symbol of fear of healing, be actually part of the plan to go deeper? Yeah, I've had, I remember many, many years ago, probably over 20 years ago, I went, I went to a Course in Miracles group and I was sitting in the group, it was a large group, and the facilitator was like saying, oh David, I'm so glad you're here, We've got a, we'd love to hear from you, and we, you know, I really want to turn the group over to you and everything. And I'm in this course group, and I kept hearing from the Holy Spirit, wait. And I'm like, okay, because they're all in the room, the facilitator's saying, take it away, and the Holy Spirit kept saying, wait, and I'm saying, Thank you, everybody. I'm, I'm glad to be here. I'm going to talk, talk to you about a few things, but the Spirit's like, wait, wait, wait. And I didn't know what the waiting was for. I'm ready to, to go. And it's like, wait, wait, wait. Then the door opens, and a woman comes in, and she's got tears in her eyes. And this course study group was all about what was going to happen next with the woman who came in. I was like, wait, wait. And she had just gone, come from the doctor and she'd just been diagnosed with a terminal illness. She's coming to her course group, she's got tears in her eyes, and she walks in the door, and she, I could feel the whole energy shift, and Jesus is like, yeah, this is what it's for. This is what the whole meeting's for. That's what the wait, wait, wait was for. And then she spoke up and she said, I'm a course student, I've been reading the book, and it's telling me all the problems are in my mind, and all the problems are my thoughts and beliefs, and I've just come from the doctor, and he's told me I've, I've got so long to live, and I've got a terminal illness. I can't go home. I've been preaching to my kids, my husband. There is no such thing as external sickness. It's all in the mind, and I've just been diagnosed you know, with a terminal illness. I can't even go home. I, I feel too ashamed to walk into my family's house because I feel like I'm such a terrible Course in Miracles student and everything. And she said, so the doctor said, well, here's, here's what the doctor said. I'm going to have to go through treatments and I need to go into the hospital. I need to schedule a time in the hospital for some surgery. And, and she just, everybody just sat in silence as this woman came into this course group and poured it all out. Here's what's going on for me, she said. And then, after she, for 10, 15 minutes, poured it all out, and everybody was completely quiet, she looked over at me and she said, aren't I just giving in to the ego to go in for this surgery that this doctor told me about? It goes against all the teachings, and I've been talking about this stuff for years. And I feel like a fool, and I feel embarrassed to even face my husband and my children. And I said, yes, you are to go for that hospital appointment. But you can't think of it as going in for treatment or surgery for a, an external illness, because there is no external illness. You know, the mind was sick, Jesus says, that thought the body could be sick. That's his line in the Course. The mind was sick that thought the body could be sick. It's all mental. But I said, but when you go in there, you are a light worker, you are the Holy Spirit's agent. You are to go into that hospital and you are to bless all the doctors, How all the nurses. Possible? You are, Jesus is just using this situation of what you believe it is just to go in there and shine the light. And I said, you can't think of it as you going in there as, as a victim, as somebody who's done something wrong, as somebody who doesn't get it, because how are you going to be the joy of the world? How are you going to be the light of the world if you believe that? So you go into that hospital and you keep that appointment and you, you shine your light and you don't forget the reason that you're there. Don't forget the purpose that you're there because Spirit is counting on you to be used, to allow your body to be used, to be spoken through, to be smiled through. Your holy encounters with the receptionist, with everybody at that hospital, is part of the, the script, and you're going to use it for that purpose. 
it's almost like you got a mission and it's yeah. an adventure like okay holy spirit <laughs> let's let's go up to san francisco and let's shine the light let's shine the light yeah it's, it's beautiful you've got a purpose there's a purpose for it. <laughs>